Hello everyone and welcome back to another wild camping video. Cheers for clicking on it. Join me today about a mile away from an old World War II bomber station which was RAF Berset Edmonds. It was used between 42 to 48 for the Second World War for the bombers. And uh, it's disused now, it's privately owned, it's just known as Rougher Airfield now. And there's an industrial estate on it. But I'm about a mile away from there, camping in a little bunker. Sort of like an Anderson shelter, but it's all concrete. It's got a little chimney stack as well. So I'm excited for it. Here it is. And there we are. It's quite long. Nice and wide, loads of room in there. Gonna have a really good kit. There's a fireplace at the bottom. Bear with me. Came down here with my mate Jordan the other day. Got the fireplace sorted out. We oh, even got a little chimney look. It's lovely and cool in here as well. It's really noticeable. Scorching hot outside. It's like 28, 29 degrees at the minute. And you come in here and it's just beautiful. So following on from the hashtag clean up 2021, we came down here and got all the rubbish. It was everywhere. There was rubbish all around here. We've put it into both corners. I brought some bin liners with me. So I'm gonna pack all this away and take all it out with me as well. Should keep the place better than I found it. So I can't claim to have found this spot myself. Got to say thanks to Jordan. This is his local spot that he's found. It's only about five or six miles from my house. And he might be camping out with me tonight, he might not. But either way, he's coming down. I know he's got to look after the kids today, so. Be nice to see him for a bit. Thanks for finding the spot, Jordan, man. It's really cool. Buzzing to stay in there tonight. So it's mainly pine in this woodland. And then over there, there's a random ash tree. brought the cot bed down with me. I reckon I've done about 200 nights kipping on one of these. But this particular one I picked up at a car boot sale for a fiver. But normally on military exercise, if we weren't in the field, it'd be on these. They're really good bits of kit. Pretty lightweight, not ideal for uh, trekking into somewhere. But if you're just pulling up in the car and walking into the woods, they're perfect. Here's a setup then, we've got the foam roll mat, the snug pack jungle bag, my MTP bivy bag and then I've just got my warm kit that I use in the winter, just going to use it as a pillow tonight. So I said in a previous video, one of my bad habits when I'm out is always being on my knees on the floor. I just crawl around all day on my knees. So I want to thank Avalanche for sending me this nature hike kneeling pad slash seat. Just a nice bit of foam that folds out. It's got little bubbles on it. It's going to be perfect for fire lighting, prepping food, foraging. Just a nice little pad to have. It's going to make all the difference. It's going to save my knees a little bit as well. So thanks to you Avalanche for that. It comes in a nice little bag as well. Just the job. If there's any historians out there that might be able to tell us all a little bit more information about this sort of shelter, stick it in the old comments. On the other side of here, there's a big depression, but there used to be another building there as well. I can't actually find any information online about this, but as I said, the old airfield's about a mile away over there. So I'm just linking it to that. So 
So by my standards, I'm a little late to the camp today. I normally like to get out about eight, nine o'clock in the morning, but I was doing some overtime last night. I didn't go home until about three o'clock. So I didn't get down here till about midday. It's just gone half one now. So I think it's time to crack the first beer. So cheers everyone. I'm on the Camden Pale to start. We brought Mr. Quick Quiver to stag on all day and night just to keep us safe. Be our eyes and ears. Cheers, pal. So I'm just walking along the top. The bed's probably about here underneath. Just wanted to show you from the top so you can see the chimney. I probably should have done this camp in the spring because there was no nettles. But I think it does look quite cool with all the uh, bracken and all that round here. Unless you knew this bunker was here, I don't think you'd ever stumble across it. So just to give you a bit of situational awareness, come straight out the wood onto this road. We are in the countryside, doesn't get too busy, but it is a little bit of a rat run between villages. And I clocked this wood block over there which I'm gonna go and have a look at tonight. Might be some future camp spots in there maybe. And I'm hoping we get a nice sunset tonight. Should set over there somewhere. Little snack from the nettles. The nettle flowers are quite sweet. It's good. Look at that sexy bit of ash. Yeah, I did say ash. Clipping a bit more wood. There's no messing around on this one today with the cot bed because my mate's coming down. I've got plenty of food, plenty of beer. Brought the chair down. Starting to pile the wood up. So I've got a magic rock brewing, Merc Life Balance. Pretty cool name, it's a hazy, 5%. Oh, that's different. That's different for a hazy, but in a good way. Dig that. So if you've watched the channel for a while, you'll know that I tested the Panacea by Marmaduke Creations, and then I ended up with my own Seeker by Marmaduke. Beautiful piece, I'm absolutely in love with this knife, been loving using it. Well, I've been sent another one by the legendary knife maker Mark to test. And this one's a Puko style. It is a prototype as well. Absolutely beautiful. Love the shape of that knife. Feels really nice, the handle's beautiful. So I'm going to be looking to do some fine work with this. I think next week's camp's going to be a real bushcraft based one. I'm going to try and make some cool stuff. So uh, I'd look out for that video next week. I'll talk to you more about the knife then. I just had to show you today. So like the shipwreck video, I thought I'd bring the fairy lights for this one. Thought it looked quite nice this evening. So I've just got them hung up. There's some really good airflow coming through the bunker. There's a nice breeze coming through the door and up out the chimney, which is gonna be good for the fire tonight. Also stops us getting carbon monoxide poisoning. Just going on a little wander. Just see what's around the woods. See what I can find. I'm gonna say this is a fox den. 
There's a little bit of poo there, looks like fox. Pretty sure this wasn't here the other week when I was down here. If it was, then I missed it. Some lovely camping spots in this wood outside the bunker. This would be perfect for a tarp camp or a hammock camp. So rather than scraping the dust into the tinder to get the fire going from the fatwood today, I think I'm going to make some long curls, make a feather stick out of it or just get a whole bunch of them piled up. making a little bed for the fire, just get it up off the cold concrete, help insulate it when it first gets going and then it will help you form your bed of embers. How's it going Sherwood? Anything to report lad? Got some fresh 2021 Fit Bike Co bars. If anyone's interested, 25 quid. Just get at me. Oh, my little bum pad. I'm on the Woodford's Nog. It's a dark ale, 4.6. Cheers Sherwood. Go on mate, do you want some? There's a 10% off code in the description as well for some Woodford's beer if you're interested. So I'm just out on a little walk. I'm going to go for a recce in that little bit of woodland there. See if we can get any future camp spots. Just go for a little mooch, see what's about. That's where we're going. I think I'll stick this in my trousers for the uh, fire lighting and foraging bag. Well, I think I found a little entrance. The rest of it seems a little bit impassable. Has got a lot of nettles like the other bit of wood. Plenty of forageable greens on the floor though. Ow. 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 Well, I think I'm going to be calling a negative ghost rider on this one. It's 
good proof though why you should always do a recce. You don't want to just be pitching up on the day. Otherwise you might not end up being able to camp as early as you want. You've got to find somewhere else. It's always good to do check out places before you go to them. Yeah, this is definitely a no-go. Some beehives there. It's pretty though. I do not want to be getting any closer. Welcome to Suffolk everyone by the way. It's all like this pretty much. It's perfect for wild campers. Well, I brought the Haribo with me. So I think this is a perfect place to stop and chill for a bit. So I probably wouldn't camp there in the future, but I've got a few bits of hardwood for the fire. On the Beaver Town Neck Oil Session IPA 4.3, and I've been putting away a lot of this stuff today as well. It does make your bones go rusty, but you've got to get it in you. So a few people over on Instagram have been asking me today if this bunker smells at all, and I can honestly say it has no smell in it whatsoever. Well, we're not going to get that sunset that I was hoping for. Here he is, look. Here he is. Fresh from the daddy duties. Yeah, boy. How are we? We're all good, man. Trying what? to get that one finger can pop going. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go. With nice the push, out there. With the push bike and all, mate. Got to be green, brother. Yeah, man. I've just got the fire on as well, lad. Oh, nice stuff, nice stuff. 
Ready for some oh, chicken. I've not seen this since it's so overgrown. Ready for some chicken for heaters, man. Woohoo! This is Jordan, everyone. This is Jordan's spot. Got to thank him for that. Come in, come in. To your humble abode. Oh. Do you reckon that speaker's not good? That's absolutely dead. That's water damage from a winter camp. No, it's just the baseline. Oh, that's the baseline, and we're going to start writing DJ tunes now. You good? Yeah. Look at boss. Morning everyone. Slept like an absolute log. I believe in a five star review on TripAdvisor. You didn't miss too much last night. We just had a few beers around the fire. Had a good catch up, and then I hit the hay, and I didn't stir until this morning. So it was a beautiful night's sleep. Hashtag clean up 2021. We're going to leave this fireplace here because we're just going to start coming back down here to hang out. Leave the wood there. Everything's gleaming. That's the end of the video. Thanks everyone for watching. If you stuck with it this long, do appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Really enjoyed it. We'll see you next week for another one. Peace and love. See you soon.